Well, I guess the latest flash flood zipped off just to the west of us, just like that hurricane did last weekend and spared bugs in a jar farm from another uh, gully washing the third, which would have been the third one in two weeks. And uh, so here I am on this now, this absolutely stifling, muggy, good lord. It ain't the heat, it's the humidity. Wet bulbs Sunday afternoon at this fucking laundromat. I was actually hoping it was going to be pouring down rain so it would cool things off. So now instead of a flash flood, we just have wet bulb sweltering temperatures. Uh, good lord, so it's fucking Sunday afternoon. It's 3 o'clock on a Sunday afternoon, so keep waiting and waiting and waiting for the uh, storm of the century uh, to blow in to come do my lawn. You finally give up. <coughs> so, come down here <coughs> to the shithole town of Candor, New York and uh, 3 o'clock on a Sunday afternoon. So I need to get a fucking spool of string just a fucking thing of string i don't give a fuck what kind of string light rope clothesline whatever so i pull up to the hardware store like i've done a million times on sunday afternoon thing is closed fucking thing is closed and i said well i have to go to family dollar to get some fucking laundry detergent anyway. So maybe Family Dollar has a roll of string somewhere in Family Dollar, you know, which is open seven days a week to 10 o'clock at night. It sounds like we have a, an emergency siren going off at uh, 341 on a Sunday afternoon. All right, we have an emergency in Candor, New York. I have no clue what the fucking emergency is in Candor, New York. So my emergency, I need some fucking laundry detergent because of course you can't buy any fucking laundry detergent at the laundromat. So uh, I figure I'll get my laundry detergent and my uh, spool of string at family I'm sorry, at Dollar General, which one? Dollar General. Dollar General, uh, I've heard that you could live from cradle to grave from what you can buy at Dollar General. That uh, you would, that you could theoretically live an entire lifetime depending on uh, Dollar General. Everything. So, so I pull up to Dollar General at 3 o'clock on a Sunday afternoon. And the fucking place is closed. It's just, it, it, it's just locked up tight. There is a little hand-scribbled note on the door. Uh, we're closed. Sorry. So, there you go. So, the, the, the fucking hardware store, they're closed. Sorry. The fucking... Dollar General is closed, sorry, so I start off to the next goddamn town to see if they're fucking uh, Dollar General's closed. You know, I, there's three Dollar Generals uh, within a five-mile radius of me right now, three of them. And then I pass the little Mini Mart, and I say, what is the chance they have laundry detergent at the Mini Mart? I go in there, I get the last the last little thing of laundry detergent at the Mini Mart. So right now in Candor, New York, you cannot buy any laundry detergent. Between the laundromat, the Dollar General, and the little 7-Eleven kind of place, you cannot buy any fucking laundry detergent in Candor, New York, at three o'clock on a goddamn Sunday afternoon uh, in the summer of 2024, 
and you wonder why there, there's a fucking alarm siren going off. Uh, I don't know if that's some flood alert, some fucking wildfire is barreling down on us right now, or they're just sending out the alarm that Dollar General and the uh, hardware store closed. I guess that's the fucking alarm. Oh, fuck. You know, just get used to it, people. This is it. This, this is what we're fucking dealing with. Trying to do anything anymore. Uh, with, with this goddamn bullshit. Uh, this place is, I, I'm assuming the reason that Dollar General is closed, my, because they have fucking help wanted signs everywhere, I'm assuming that uh, they just have nobody to show up for work on Sunday afternoon to go here and, and, and earn whatever the fuck they're paying at Dollar General, probably 12 fucking dollars an hour, that uh, people are just saying, fuck you. And, and, and not going to work. I wouldn't be going to fucking work for $12 an hour at fucking Dollar General on a Sunday afternoon either. Don't blame these people uh, one fucking bit. Just put the fucking, just lock the fucking door. Get the fuck out of there and get out there and enjoy it while you still can. While goddamn uh, alarm sirens are going off all over the fucking shithole town waiting for a fucking flash flood to come wash you down the fucking street. Good fucking God. Can't believe I, I feel like I was here like three days ago doing washing these motherfucking sheets. This is twenty fucking dollars and two hours uh, of uh, my Sunday afternoon. Every time I fucking uh, wash sheets, I, I'm looking well at, at a, a minimum of twenty dollars, uh, closer to thirty fucking dollars to uh, wash sheets uh, for, for for this fucking Airbnb. Oh God, my life. This is the the life of a vacation rental super host sitting around here at this motherfucking laundromat with my thumb up my goddamn ass uh, talking to my little invisible uh, friends on YouTube. Oh, Jesus. You know, just looking at my fucking life. This is it. Uh, th th this is the fucking highlight of my life, sitting around a goddamn laundromat parking lot uh, on a Sunday afternoon, washing cum stains uh, out of other people's sheets. Uh, so I, I shake out the sheets and a fucking used condom drops on the floor. I'm standing there in the fucking laundromat uh, right next to this woman. Uh, she was getting her fucking... And I shake out the sheets and this fucking used condom falls out of the goddamn sheets. Uh, I guess she pretended not to see. I very, very casually pushed the fucking used condom uh, up under up under the table. But at least I'm glad to see they're, they're using fucking condoms. So, uh, I, I, I guess uh, n n nobody is being conceived. I was just wondering this last night. You know, we had our first wedding night last night at Bugs in a Jar Farm. Uh, the happy couple were supposed to show up there. The bride tells me she's going to be there at 6.30. At 11.30, she, she and her new husband come rolling up to Bugs in a Jar Farm, the happy couple, and uh, so we had our first wedding night at Bugs in a Jar Farm last night, and I just wondering if, uh, if some little planet nibbling bundle of joy 
uh, was uh, conceived at Bugs in a Jar Farm last night, or whether I'm going to be shaking my goddamn sheets out in a fucking used condom it is going to come falling out on the goddamn floor. You know, what a fucking life. Uh, shaking used condoms out of sheets. Uh, fuck. What do you think, little dog? About shaking used condoms out of dirty sheets for a living. All right, the four wheelers are heading out. They got their four wheeler on a trailer behind their monster truck. He's got his four wheeler. You know, I've got a lot of room to talk with me and my gator, but. See, these things, the sole intention of those things, of those fucking quads, is uh, d d this clueless moron planet eating. You know, they're kind of out of the same, uh, out of the same uh, metal capacity as a fucking cruise ship. Oh, God. It's, uh, I mean, everywhere you fucking turn. Uh, this, this, this goddamn shit is just coming down around us. Oh, this must be some, I guess what this is, is some sort of four-wheeler garage. Uh, alright, he's loading his quad up on the back of his monster truck. I have, I'm looking at two monster trucks in their quads. Alright, they got their monster trucks and their quads. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Look at these fat ass clueless fucking morons. I would absolutely love this goddamn quad. Okay. You're setting up. Oh, please, 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 dear God. Let that goddamn quad fall on the ground. No such luck. Alright. The clueless fat fuck has loaded his quad on the back of his monster truck. He got his quad on his monster truck. Wish I could read their. Uh, wish I could read their T-shirts. Obviously, I would love to know what their T-shirts were saying about their worldviews. Ah, <sighs> Jesus fucking Christ! Yeah, there's nothing like binging on William Reese all weekend and then coming to the fucking laundromat uh, uh, across the street from the quad garage to uh, <laughs> just, uh, just in your face uh, how, how fucked we are. Uh Anyway, let me go check to see how my, oh, here's another quad coming in. All right. I guess he's going to back his quad. No, he's, he's in his quad on this side. Oh, fuck. I went back to the laundry pile from hell. You got your little friend, Sancho. Sancho has him a little friend. Got him a little Bigfoot to ride around with. And you say, Bob, would you go deal with those fucking sheets so we can get the fuck out of here? Bye, guys.